Unraveling English. Literal versus idiomatic expressions. Hello there, language enthusiasts. Welcome to another episode of our advanced vocabulary series. Today, we're going to explore an incredibly fascinating aspect of the English language. Idiomatic expressions, and specifically, how to distinguish between literal and idiomatic meanings. This skill will not only improve your understanding of English but also help you communicate more effectively. So, let's dive in. To distinguish between literal and idiomatic meanings, we first need to understand what they are. A literal meaning is straightforward. It's the dictionary definition of a word or phrase. For example, she has a heart of gold would mean someone literally has a heart made of gold, which, of course, isn't physically possible. On the other hand, an idiomatic expression is a phrase where the meanings of the individual words don't add up to the overall meaning. Using our previous example, she has a heart of gold, idiomatically means that she is very kind and generous. Now, Let's delve into how to identify idiomatic expressions. It's not always straightforward, but here are a few strategies. 1. Context. Idiomatic expressions often become clear when considering the context they're used in. If a sentence doesn't make sense literally, it's likely idiomatic. 2. Non-literal imagery. Idioms often involve a degree of non-literal imagery. For example, to pull someone's leg doesn't literally involve pulling. It means to tease or trick someone. 3. Familiarity. With time, you'll begin to recognize common idioms. The English language is full of them, like raining cats and dogs or bitten off more than you can chew. To become adept at distinguishing idiomatic expressions, practice is essential. Here are some suggestions. 1. Read widely. From novels to newspapers, reading various genres will expose you to many idiomatic expressions. 2. Use idiom dictionaries. They can provide meanings and example sentences, aiding your understanding. 3. Engage in conversation. Try to use idioms in conversation and observe when others use them. The more you use and hear idioms, the more familiar they'll become. There we have it. That's a brief overview of how to distinguish between literal and idiomatic meanings in English. Remember, idioms add color to language, making it more engaging and expressive. It might feel challenging at first, but with practice and patience, you'll become adept at recognizing and using idiomatic expressions. Thank you for joining us today. Keep practicing, stay curious, and continue expanding your English vocabulary. See you in our next episode where we'll continue exploring the fascinating world of the English language.